It was championship night at the Empire 8 Swimming and Diving Conference Meet on Saturday. The championships were once again held at the Webster Aquatic Center. Freshman Jacob Smith from Nazareth, who captured the title in the one meter diving on Friday, was named the E8 Diver of the Meet. Then on Saturday in the 100 freestyle, Ryan Huff won in a time of 46-21, and the Naz men with great depth won the E8 title, followed by Alfred and then Hartley. For the women, grad student Taylor Roby won the 100 freestyle in 50.54 seconds. Taylor also qualified for the NCAA meet, and she qualified for the 50 free as well. She was also named Swimmer of the Meet. Naz came into Saturday with a commanding lead in the women's competition, and this was Grace Trophy in the 200 fly. She won this event in 215.87. Now to the women's diving, and this was the three meter finals. Naz senior Ellie Norwood won the event and was once again named the Diver of the Meet. Then in the women's 400 free relay, the Golden Flyers team of Roby, Julie Filipski, Abby Santos, and Paige Pascarella won in a time of 3.33.78. Filipski also won the 200 breaststroke on Saturday, and the Nazareth women won the E8 title in dominating fashion, giving the women and the men the Empire 8 championships in swimming and diving. You guys earned this. Every single swim, every one of you was part of this team, and you guys all played a role in this. You guys are all deserving of this. Congratulations. You guys are champions. Let's go. This is a great experience. But, uh, both the men and the women have done an excellent job, um, you know, stepping in, being the first year, taking over already a pretty successful program. Uh, you know, I knew from day one uh, that they were a special group. You know, they've been super helpful during the transition. Um, we've had some great leaders, and... Uh, you know, some quality athletes and they really push themselves and having, making sure that they do what they need to do in and out of the pool and uh, it led to a championship and it feels great to uh, have both the Empire 8 uh, Women's and Men's Championship. It was really hard last year when we weren't able to be Empire Champions again and we took it to heart and we went to work and I'm really excited. The team worked so hard. We knew what we wanted to do. We knew what we had to do to get it and it was a team effort through and through. It's really hard to realize that um, my teammates are, are leaving. It was hard last year as a senior and it's definitely even harder as a grad student. I swam my last relays this week and I swam for the last time with a lot of really important people and I'm going to miss them a lot. We just came out and we swam hard. The guys really swam hard. They put their heads down, they got their hands to the wall. It's so special, you know, senior year to go out on top, and that's exactly what we did. I couldn't ask to be with a better group of guys to uh, accomplish this with, and I'm surely going to miss them next year. Both sides, men and women, everyone's just a close-knit family is really what it is. You know, we're all brothers and sisters here trying to get one goal, getting through practices, getting through the meets. It's, you know, it's hard on a long championship meet. Four days, we're all working hard. Um, we're all hurting, but you know, we all rally off each other's energy and it's just, it's amazing. It's something that I don't think I've ever experienced before. Nazareth student athletes proudly support the following community organizations. Golisano Children's Hospital, the American Cancer Society, and the Special Olympics. The Golden Flyers, excelling in competition, the classroom, and the community. Nazareth video highlights are presented courtesy of a friend of the Golden Flyers.